morning everyone, Sins Vengeance here, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last time, we um, delivered Sasha. She's back into her fam with her family now, so that's all jolly jolly jolly. Um, yeah, let's look at our quest log. Vastila HK. We have to go to Manan and Kashyyyk, I remembered. So, let's go to do Kanan first. Uh, Kanan. Uh, watch the Indy 500, the 92nd running of the Indianapolis uh, 500. Um, and there's a guy called Tony Conan, so... Almost the same thing. Let's go to Manan. That's a better thing. Um, do I remember where to go? Yes, I do. Hello, Giscas. Um... Actually, it's a long time we didn't talk to uh, this guy yes, here. Yes, what's on your mind? <clears throat> we didn't our, end our last discussion very well. I, um, uh, I'm not very good at this. I, I know I owe you an apology. Uh, more than one, probably. Yeah, probably. I was just so desperate to finally face Saul directly in the battle over Terrace. And now the Jedi have us looking for these, these star maps. I know this mission is important. It's just, I, I feel a bit useless. I, I mean, I can fight, sure, but I'm no Jedi. All this feels completely out of my league. Um. And how does that excuse your actions? It doesn't, I know. I th it's been a while since I've even had to think about that sort of thing. I just hate not knowing what's going on and feeling this... helpless. I mean, I, I, but I shouldn't have taken that out on you. I've been a royal pain in the backside, haven't I? Don't worry about it, Karth. No, I do worry about it. I've traveled the lanes more than once. I should know better than this. So, I'm sorry. Will you accept my apology? Well... Uh, <clears throat> only if you agree to work with me for once. Done. Let's get underway then, shall we, partner? Well, what does our journal request uh, say? Karth has apologized for his previous behavior and has promised to try not to punish his current companions for the betrayals of people is for, of people in his past. Whether he can accomplish this remains to be seen. Well, he knows that he's been wrong. That's that's a start. I always say self-knowledge is the beginning of all knowledge. Well, of wisdom. Um, where's Manan? Over there. And do not fuck up, please. Travel. The cut's in place! Woohoo! <clears throat> Let's go to Manon! <laughs> no? Oh, look at it. Oh! Here we go! Hyperspace! Of hyperspeed! Oh? Another vision! Oh yeah, we're coming up to Manon. There's another, uh... Star map over there? Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manon is covered by nothing but vast oceans. So, I believe the uh, cutscene should have played here, where the uh, star uh, map was, but it didn't play. Game, you are failing on me. Um, it looked like 
Um, no. Maybe the land was once above the surface. It is possible. The melting of polar caps or a cataclysmic earthquake could have buried the land beneath the waves eons ago. Records from that time are incomplete. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkath. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. It would be. It would seem so. So... Maybe I'll throw in the cutscene. I know where to find it. Um... Hello, Zalbar. Let's take our healer, always our healer, and Garth this time. Okay, yes, Bastila and Garth are my companions. Um, let's. Uh, hmm. Okay. Hello. Docking Bay 26C. You Republic people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong, like we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't push me, or you'll get just what you're asking for. What the hell's try happening? It. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the Selkath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not man enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. I don't like that guy. Fucking Sith. <sighs> yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. Um, it's alright. No, really, I should apologize. I, I should try to control myself, as you Jedi do. Is there anything I can help you with? Why do the Sith uh, upset you so much? Well, these damn Sith are everywhere on the Nile, <clears throat> pushing us Republic citizens around, trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. Breaking the law? Yeah, the Selkath want to maintain their neutrality in this war we're fighting with the Sith, and they enforce it very strictly. So, we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us, and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Colto export restrictions, and that could lose us the war altogether. What is Colto? <laughs> You're joking, right? No. I'm sorry, but everyone knows what Colto is. It's the most powerful healing agent in the galaxy. I would have died several times myself if we didn't have this stuff handy. But the reason nice. it's important here is that Colto is only found naturally on Manan, and all of our attempts to synthesize it have failed miserably. So, we sit here on the surface, the Selkath harvesting what Colto bubbles up from the bottom of the ocean, and we buy it from them. Well, us and the Sith, of course. The Selkath don't want to play favorites. The rep Republic and Sith both stay here? The Selkath think that by staying neutral they can play both sides, selling Colto to everyone that needs it and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Colto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But I think That's they're underestimating well. the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you require? Um... Have you seen an ancient star map? A uh, star map? Like an ancient artifact or something? No, I'm, I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Is there anything else I can do for you? Um... Why are you sit on Manon? Uh, tell me about Ato City. Um, it's big. Real big. Actually, it's pretty much the only real city on the entire world. The only place for us air breathers, anyway. Manon is a water world, which you may have noticed on your way down to land here, inhabited natively by a species of fish people called the Selkath. They built this city to cater to us off-worlders, and as a base of operations to export Colto, which is the only real thing they have to trade here. Mm, why haven't they joined the Republic? The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Colto to yeah, their... Well, already that, and but I think that. they're underestimating the... Is yeah. there anything... Um, never mind, I must go. Of course. If you have any other questions, <coughs> you'll probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. 
He's by the Republic Enclave, near the visitor residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the port official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. No, that? I didn't get Have that. Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi. I didn't get that. But... Let's see what's around. Another Republic soldier. Hello. Nothing here? Okay. Well, let's go then. We are on a new world, a water world. I can't breathe under water. A security droid. Well, a cleaning droid. Okay. A merchant. What do you have to sell? I don't like your language. It's disgusting. It's like you burped all the way through. Let me see your inventory. <clears throat> I actually should have seen um Ooh. Well bye. Bye. Hmm. Grenades. Stimulants. Close. Didn't have anything useful to me. Let's explore uh, Manan a little. Huh. How can I help? Uh, I'd like to talk about what you said before, about giving in to your emotions. Yes, I did end that quite abruptly, didn't I? Perhaps a master could have addressed my questions with the proper wisdom, but I never should have brought it up here, not with you. Part of my purpose on this mission was to guide you in the way of the light, to help you avoid the temptations of the dark side, but I fear I've failed in that task. I don't think I'm the proper Jedi to guide you. I am no master. You should have remained with the Council. <clears throat> Why do you say that? The fact of the matter is, I have never possessed much skill at controlling myself. With the bond that joins us, it seems I have even less. You have maintained the path of the light side. But it has been in spite of my influence, not because of it. It's increasingly obvious I am unable to guide you properly. Um, you're doing your best, I'm sure. That's kind of you to say, but I think the evidence speaks for itself. I think... I think I may have made a very big mistake. I simply hope that you are not the one who pays the price, ultimately, for the fact that I can't help you enough. Maybe we could help each... Maybe we could help each other. It's a kinder response than I deserve. And I can see there is wisdom in your words. You... you continue to be there for me, don't you? Even after I keep pushing you away, you're still around when I need you most. You're like no man I've known before. And you're nothing like what I expected you to be after... after the Council sent us on this mission together. How did you expect me to be? Well, just different, I suppose. Things are not going as I thought they would. I, I need time to think about all this. We should continue on with our mission for now. Okay. What does the quest log say? Basila's doubts about her own abilities continue to grow. She's actually afraid she may now be a detriment to your dev development as a Jedi. Hmm. Who are you? Guard, what the fuck are you doing? Um, exotic species. What sorts of exotic species? Uh, 
Um, I don't have time for questions. <coughs> I'm go <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to look up if I need to sell the Gizgas to him. I don't know. Courtyard over here. 26 speed docking. Actually, let's look at the map. Private hangar. Sith hangar. Ebonhawk. We don't need to go in there. We don't go in there. There's a ship there. So we go in there. Let me go in there. Oops. West Central. Let's go out. Huh. A cleaning droid? Visitor's area. Now who the fuck are you? Jolan Affet. Who are you? Oh, a Pazak player. Not right now. I don't care about Pazak. Actually, from what I'm seeing right now, Manan is a pretty beautiful place. But there are a lot of doors to traverse. A security droid, of course. Uh, hello. <laughs> I love the Sith answer. Pathetic laws of pathetic fish don't concern me. No, no, no. What are the rules exactly? I understand. Every time. Okay. Very well, here is the docking fee. Understood. Okay. Let's go, I guess. Into Ahto City. What the fuck? I couldn't go through. I should bloody kill you. What? These Selkath don't know what they're gonna miss. When the Sith Empire finally crushes the Republic, then we'll see how long their vaunted neutrality lasts. Have you heard that? Selkath? Um... Let's look around for a while first. That's the East Central Courtyard. Okay. 
I didn't get much done in this episode, but I think it's enough. We got onto a new planet. We talked with uh, Karth and um, Bastila. Got to know them a little more. Colto Distribution Center. I kind of don't need that. <clears throat> Is Colto used in those med packs? Maybe. West Courtyard. Um. We're missing someone. Why are you standing there? Let's look at our quest log. Oh, Republic Embassy, Star Map Manan. You have been advised to see Roland One. Further mission. You said you go south to the first quarter, then east to the second quarter, and it's in the northeast section of that area. What? Uh, northeast. Well, northeast is over there, so let's go to east central first. Basila, did you ever think about joining? Come the on! Who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then, I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council, unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? I mean, would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. Um... Where's my cursor? I don't see it. Um... What did they see exactly? There was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us on a post? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer, and the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them would have been speaking Mandalorian. I, I think we're done here. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Well, that was a tense um, conversation. Damn! Yeah, maybe. What if the Republic would have waited? What if the Order came to help? That's not going to go well. Your precious Republic's days are numbered. Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds, now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. <clears throat> okay, that happened. Oh, look at droids. Where is the bloody embassy? There's the store. No, I northeast. Northeast. Nor northeast. Out of my way. I need to find an embassy. Republic embassy. We found it. 
but we are going to talk. You're in my way, Buster. You're in my way. Ah, oh, come on. We are going to talk to the ambassador in the next episode. We uh, saw a bit of Manan. I know I didn't do a lot, but we are here finally. And we are going to look for the star map, the next star map, in order to find the Star Forge. But anyway, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time!